what's going on y'all so we are here with our last round of matches using our good friend gigawatts 94's team that they were able to get a uh, second place in their local tournament called the sky drop tournament i forget where gig is from i like i want to say like boston or something around that area uh <laughs> chicago I don't know. Um, we out here. Sorry, Giga. Uh, <laughs> but wherever their local was, they did get the second place at this tournament, or with this team, which is, you know, kind of like uh, Zhejiang's Bronzong team, right? Like, uh, I don't remember exactly if it's the same six Pokemon, but it is that uh, Assault Vest of Valtal, the Citrus Berry Swords Dance Groudon, a Focus Sash Helping Hand of Venusaur, which is pretty interesting, uh, with Weather Ball, Sleep Powder. We've got the Leftovers, Bronzong, very standard. We've got a Life Orb, Regilecki. We did see in the last video that it's a little unfortunate to only have Rising Voltage as your best move because you don't actually always one-shot Kyogre's with that, but uh, I guess there are ways to play around it depending on the item of the Kyogre. Then we have a, uh, you know, pretty standard Incineroar as well. So, good team. Uh, check out Giga's channel if you have not. They are uh, a good content creator, good friend, and uh, doing good things. So, you know, let's jump into those matches. They're also using my team right now, which is fun. Yeah, so we've been bouncing around in like the 2000s, which it's not great, but I'll take it. We'll see if we can find Bronzong a time to shine. I mean, I definitely think it's possible, you know. I like, even though like, like, you know, I used the Poliwhirl team, I'm using the Bronzong team. Like, that doesn't mean I'm going to force myself to use Poliwhirl or like Bronzong because I'm still trying to win kind of, you know. So, like, if it's not good, I'm not gonna over-prioritize it, you know? Um... We don't have Tailwind. They have Sun. Or, I mean... They have Things. I feel like their team looks really good into mine, but maybe I just don't really know what to do. I want to lead like Insin Reggie Lecky, but I also kind of want to lead like Bronzong. I just don't think Bronzong is perfect here. Um, because if I give them Trick Room, is that really like great for me? It's not the worst thing that's ever happened in the world, but it's definitely not amazing. Um,. I am going to lead this with Groudon and a Veltal. Do I want a Veltal or do I want Venusaur? I might actually just want Regilecki, honestly. I don't have a good plan for this. My plan is basically just um, try to set up Trick Room. That's my plan. They do start Torn Lando. So that's fine. I'd say all things considered, that's good for us. Right? Like, we can set up Trick Room, and then... Yeah, that's fine. Because we... No, we have... Okay, so Insin will get one shot, which is a little... Well, it's actually not a guaranteed one shot. We do get the Trick Room, though. And they are going to go for that. 
Did we have? No, we didn't have ally switch. We have protect, iron defense. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not a good play either. But I mean, like, it's a play you can make. I would imagine... Okay. Good play. Remember when I called it a bad play? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh god. So let's see, what can I do here? We could switch out Bronzong into like a Veltal just to eat some damage. And then we could Parting Shot, like... And then the question is just, do I bring out Groudon right now and risk them doing a lot of damage to it? Or do I bring out Bronzong again? I kind of want to bring out Groudon, but I just think like depending on how this turn goes, it could be like a really, really bad thing to do. They're going to rock slide. So obviously I'm not like stoked about that. I could Swords Dance myself if I wanted to, but I feel like I want to just... We know they have like heat wave or something. And I st I honestly don't know if this will KO, but I'm hopeful. Okay. So having to go for sucker punch was a little unfortunate. But... <sighs> All things considered, this is going okay. They bring out Zacian. Um, I think we... I think we always just Quake the Zacian here. And Oblivion Wing. Oh wait.
Okay, so I'm gonna say we quake Zacian and we uh, just throat chop the Landorus. Bronzong did something, you know? <laughs> we all saw it. Bronzong did something. So now they should be bringing out, I'm guessing, like what, Kyogre, right? But... I mean, this isn't over, you know? I think if anything, we just protect and we parting shot, like... So that might have been a throw. Um, I obviously don't want it to be a throw. I feel like Kyogre is like the bane of any time that I use this team. Because <laughs> it's like, what do I do here? Um... I have to press this blades, obviously. I could rock tomb. I don't really think that it's... Okay. So if I rock tomb, they become slower than Groudon, right? At least they should. But then, Bronzong can't really, like, you know. Bruh. I couldn't do anything about that. Like, the only thing I could do... Right? The only thing that I could have actually done about that was switch out Groudon, get the sun up, and then get the free switch back in. Right? Um, so I guess that's technically what I had to do. But at minus one, or I mean at not plus two special defense, that was going to happen anyways. So I, I, I literally couldn't do anything right there, which is really unfortunate. Um, there's absolutely no play I could have made that would have got me out of this. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, man. Oh my god. Like, if... If anything, I had to, like, bring one different Pokemon. Um... Not even, my guy. So what did I have to do? Um, I would have had to double target the Landris slot on the turn that Zacian protected. And then I would have Kyogre come out while there's still a turn of Trick Room. And, I mean, they would just protect. Like, I mean, it's not impossible. But, yeah, that's, like, really unfortunate, if we're being honest. Like, what am I supposed to do? Hey, look, it's Andy's team. Or, no, it's Giga's team. <laughs> they're, they're using Giga's team. So we got a Giga versus Giga. 
team. And I don't think Bronzong can get me out of it. I don't think a lot of things can get me out of this. Uh... <laughs> uh... I think I have to start, like, Insin Reggie Lecky. Wait, um, Fake Out doesn't work on, what does the Fake Out do? What is, what is starting Insign get me here? Um, it helps me break Sash on their Comfy if it has Sash. That's all it does. Um... I think I have to either do that or I have to start a Veltal. Um, I'm inclined to start a Veltal, I just don't think it's perfect. So let's start this with a Veltal and Bronze on. That could be really bad. Um, I want it to be good. I had no idea what I wanted to do here. Um, I think it's cool that they're using Giga's team. And we're using Giga's team. So they go Insin Comfy, which makes sense. Let's hope that our Insin is faster than their Insin, which I'm assuming is a speed tie. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it's... If it's literally the exact same Ensign, this should be a speed tie, right? So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm definitely going to do this. Can we just say, like, I was, I played that last one very well. Like, just like the second game in the, in the previous one, it was like we got all the situations set up that we needed. It was all going good. And then Kyogre came out at the end. And it was just like, yeah, well, I may be down, but I'm not out. And you'll find out. <laughs> it was me. Okay, it was it was me. Uh, if we get rid of Comfy here, it really disables what the team wants to do. But that doesn't mean that we win automatically, right? But if we set up electric terrain, that's going to be really good. We are speed tying. The Comfy has protect. Gee, will do that. Mean? Giga, what are you doing to him? <laughs> okay. The freaking Comfy has protect. They should be up. They clicked the farting shot. Um, makes sense. So this is gonna suck a lot. <laughs> okay, well, Calyrex is, you know, better than some other things that they could have sent out. So, the really good thing about them sending out Calyrex, aka Palyrex, aka my guy, is that I can do this, and I can do this. Calyrex the Palyrex, you know, he's just a fella. We, we're gonna get rid of this combi though. I mean, if they ally switch, that's one thing. If they trick room, I don't care. But we're gonna get rid of this comfy if it's the last thing I do. <sighs> yeah, more of like a you would, my guy. Um, if we're being honest. So we get the farting shot. Um. 
You guys know. You guys get it. We give them the farting shot. They set up the room of a trick. It's a trap. We did get rid of the problem though. Well, and then they do that. So yeah, this is far from over. Um, they bring out the thing that is truly scary for me. And there's not much I can do about it. Um, I think I have to max guard. And maybe also protect. Because I'm just not confident enough in the amount of damage we can take on. Okay, well, that felt unfortunate to me. Um, how many Trick Room turns are left? Three? Jeez. Trick Room lasts too long, man. Like, make it one less turn. Because, like, we have to probably switch into a Veltal. Well, I mean, there's no reason for them to r rinse and repeat, right? Like, that's kind of the way I feel about it. Um, I do think that we can switch into a Veltal, though. So let's switch into a Veltal and probably just, honestly, like, body press to lower the amount that they do. See, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> you see? You see? That wasn't bad. Um. <laughs> let's, let's sucker punch. And let's, uh. Let's just protect this turn. You see, that wasn't so bad. We're in a pretty bad position here, though. Um... I think it's just, what do I want to do right now? Like...
because Trick Room is only one turn, it could technically be a really good idea to be able to pivot right now. But I just don't think we're going to have that luxury. So I'm going to Iron Defense. Okay, how do I win this? <sighs> I want a parting shot the Kyogre and maybe just set the trick room myself hoping that they will try to also set trick room like I don't I'm expecting some, like, definitely some possible bad things to happen here. I'm thinking they set Trick Room and they Geyser. In which case, then I technically made not the good play. So what did I need to do? Um, I needed to protect Bronzong and I needed to just let Insane go down. Um, or well, what I really needed to do was to throat chop the Kyogre. Because we've already seen that um, rising voltage doesn't do enough to Kyogre. So, yeah, that was unfortunate. But we got Giga by Giga. Yep, protect on a lot of things, that's the way to do it. <laughs> oh god. I mean, there's nothing I could have done, like everything I'd protect. Like, if I, you know, if they take out Ensign, they just protect Kyogre, set up Trick Room, and I lose again. Like, you know. Um. Okay. This is annoying because it's like. You know, I'm actually trying here. Like, I'm not trying to lose. It's just, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like with this team, maybe. And like, I don't see a way out of this.
We're using Bronzong. <laughs> We're using Bronzong. <sighs> Just, uh, you know, not always able to get it in the position it wants to be in. So that makes the sense. Sorry, you're not getting a lot of commentary in this one, because I'm just, just not doing it, apparently, you know?
<laughs> you guys get it. This is embarrassing, okay? <laughs> like, am I really doing that bad? Yeah, good job. You know, it would have been probably nice to get that uh, hit off on the other slot. I can almost see a way out of this. people do things like that. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, so I mean, it's not the way that I wanted to send off this team. Um, I think we could have won the first one if that Kyogre didn't literally wreck us. Um, I don't know, besides that, I mean... Yeah. 
what am I really supposed to do here? So frustrating stuff, um, I think my opponent played really well in that last one. Who the heck runs quick guard Zacian? Obviously them. Yeah. So let's see. You know, my opponents, they all hit their sleep powders, they all... It all just works out fine and dandy. Whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't have time to film anything else, so... That's gonna be the way we send the team off. Not great. I do think it's a solid team, but like... That wasn't the way to play it. I guess, so we'll have to try to learn from that. Uh, I do have exciting stuff planned for coming up, and uh, yeah, till the next <laughs> Oh my god.